You are looking at two long form birth certificates from the state of Hawaii. According to the dates on the certificates, these births took place in Honolulu during the month of August in 1961, just 16 days apart. The birth certificate on the left belongs to Barack Obama. The birth certificate on the right belongs to Johanna Ani. After five years of intense investigation, which included consultation with one of America's most respected forensic document examiners and a team of European media forensic experts, the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office has reached a conclusion utilizing forensic techniques both old and new. It is the opinion of the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office that the birth certificate on your right belonging to Johanna Ani was in fact used as a source document in the digital creation of Barack Obama's long-form birth certificate. Nine points of forgery in which words, letters, and hand-placed date stamps have been digitally copied from the Ani long-form birth certificate and pasted onto Obama's long-form birth certificate. We'll look at the first five points of forgery together since they were brought over from the Ani document in one group. Now let's drop out the Ani document as a background and view that again. Now let's look at the date stamps in box 20 and 22. In this case, the stamps were brought over one at a time. But as we do this experiment, ask yourself, what are the odds that two stamps in two separate boxes, stamped by hand 16 days apart, would have the exact same angle in box 20 and the exact same angle in box 22? First, we'll look at the left stamp. Now the right stamp. It should be pointed out that these stamps were looked at by two separate document examiners who specialize in two separate forensic disciplines and who reside on two different continents. Both agree that these angles are identical on both the Obama document and the Ani document. Let's watch that again without all of the background clutter. It should be noted that Susan and Gretchen Nordyke were born five minutes from each other and have consecutive serial numbers. Therefore, their date stamps ostensibly would have been put on back to back. But as you can see, looking at the leftmost date stamps underlined in red and looking at the rightmost date stamps underlined in blue, there is no similarity in terms of the angle of the date stamps. How ironic that Barack Obama's birth certificate and Johanna Ani's birth certificate, which were stamped 16 days apart, are identical in angle according to two separate disciplines within the world of forensic document examination. And yet the Nordyke twins, born five minutes from each other, stamped back to back, don't show any similarity in angles. We've made a number of references to angles so far. 
The reason for that is if you're going to take an item off of one document and place it onto another, the angle is going to remain the same unless you intentionally alter it after you place it on the second document. Watch. When you have two separate documents with two hand-placed date stamps at the same angles, it should be obvious that a forgery has taken place. For the next example, we'll need to zoom in a little bit. Now we are going to focus on boxes 6C and 6E within the Obama PDF. Both X's were taken directly from box 6D in the ANI long-form birth certificate. In fact, not only was the X pulled over, but the box itself was pulled over and various parts of the line on top of the X were also pulled over according to forensic document experts. Next, we'll drop the IME document out of the picture, except for the items that were used to create the Obama birth certificate. 